you're involved in a restaurant, catering company, food truck, bar, deli, fast food, you get the picture. Chances are you've probably tried a million plus ways to drive new customers and guests to your doors, phones, or websites. Today I'm gonna to go over four new, but most importantly, low cost, if not free in most circumstances. And guess what? These ideas don't involve discounts, they don't involve free stuff, none of that. It's just straight up real life marketing. And you can try them in your business today because all you really need is a phone. You may gloss over this one, but don't. I promise you, don't do it. Interactive QR codes. Now, these aren't just the QR codes from 2018 that neither you or myself ever, ever, ever scanned. I'm talking about building engagement with your guests right there at their table before your server even comes to them for the first time. Before the guest even knows what they want to eat or drink, but maybe pushes them in a certain direction of what to eat or drink. Now, here are three examples of how to execute an interactive QR code that will not only get scanned by your guests, but will also provide an experience to go along with the one that you are trying to create for them right in your restaurant. Picture this, right there on the table, whether it's on the menu or not, there's a big QR code. Maybe it's even designed with your logo, which yes, you can absolutely do. And it says, scan here to see what our chef has created just for you for this week only. See it? And scanning this will drive the guest to see a video right there on their phone that you recorded of the chef, either professionally or just with your cell phone, like I said, going over that week's special features. You just have to record it once, upload it to the web, link your QR code, and there you go. You're off and it's printed. And guess what? You don't have to print a different QR code on every single menu. Just make your QR code one time, make it a dynamic QR code, and I'll leave directions on how to do this in the description below. And then you just change the link on the back end every single week or once a month or however, you, however often you want to change it. If you don't offer weekly specials or weekly features, maybe this could link to a video of the bartender talking about what wines, beers, or cocktails pair perfectly with their favorite dishes. You see what I'm saying? It's just an interactive way to drive guests to see different things on your menu that maybe aren't selling or maybe you want to sell more of. Whatever that may be, just let your creative juices go here. Or maybe you want to advertise one of your own in-house events right here. This is a perfect spot to do it. Advertising to the person right in front of you is the easiest and cheapest way to go. Maybe it's a scan here to learn about our limited seating event coming up in XYZ. And then that just links them to a page on your website that talks about your special event. Maybe you're only allowing 15 people to register for this event and it's super exclusive and it's awesome, which we'll get to later as one of our other marketing ideas. And they can buy tickets right there in your restaurant at your table so you can sell out your events much faster and not even have to worry about spending money advertising on social media or TV or radio or any of those things. If you hear a bunch of beeping going on behind me, I'm in a restaurant that's getting ready to set up for the day. As you can see, sky's really the limit here with the interactive QR code. Just keep it fresh, keep it interactive, and make sure it's easily seen. Number two, video content that restaurants usually forget about. And it's not just restaurants, it's every other type of business as well. As you can probably tell by the B-roll in this video, these are all my footage from clients, including this restaurant behind me. And as you can tell, I love baking food videos, which is another reason I do this YouTube channel. And just with that experience, I know that there are certain things that most restaurants and most content creators and videographers and producers forget about when it comes to promoting restaurant content. And that's the staff. Believe it or not, the people that watch your videos want to see smiling faces. It's part of the whole experience. The reason I came to this restaurant to film is because their motto here is taste the experience. And that's just not taste the food. That's taste everything around you. You can see that they cook right in front of you. That's part of the experience. So you're trying to create this experience that shows your food, but especially in a kitchen like this, their chefs are right in front of you. You want to see their faces before you come in and know that they're smiling and happy, right? It just makes it more inviting when you see a video about a restaurant or about a caterer or about an event planner and you show the guest faces or you show the staff's faces, the people that you're going to be working directly with. Now, yes, you definitely want to show those mouth-watering creative dishes that the chefs are creating. But if the tragedy of 2020 has taught us anything, it's that now more than ever, people want a human experience. And when they see your amazing food on social media and they stop scrolling and then they see a smiling face presenting that food to go along with it, it's going to go a lot further than just the food. Showing a happy person, the beautiful environment, the gorgeous and tasty and mouth-watering food, that is the trifecta for showing off your restaurant and what you guys actually do out there. Here's a couple examples. If you offer an incredible bar selection with custom cocktails, yes, show those gorgeous cocktails being made. But show 
show those amazing bartenders in action, show their faces, show the concentration, show their smile as they peel an orange for an old fashioned. It's, it's simple things like this. Show your food runners, show your food handlers, show the people in the food truck handing off the food to guests. These are things that are often missed when advertising restaurants and what you guys actually do. If you're a caterer, I sincerely, sincerely hope that you're recording the events that you cater. Ask the customer, say, hey, do you mind if we come with a camera and just video a couple things during the event? More often than not, they're going to say yes because they want that record too. So much passion, creativity, and work, and blood, sweat, and tears goes into catering a wedding. So why wouldn't you capture all that? Show exactly how that process works from start to finish so that a future bride knows exactly what to expect when they contact you. It just makes the whole process that much simpler for you. Make them get to know you and your staff's faces before they even work with you. When they meet with you for the first time, they're already gonna know you a little bit because they recognize your face. When they see the passion and pride that you put into your work, they're gonna be much more likely to call you. It's not just about the food. It's about showing off that entire experience the guests and customers are about to get. Continuing on about that unforgettable experience, number three is exclusive and limited events. Yes, these are more work. Yes, these can take away from the rest of the work that you're doing in the rest of the restaurant. But what they really do is show the guests and the customers that you're willing to go that extra mile to provide even an additional experience than to what they're already used to. And maybe this isn't a good fit for your restaurant. That's totally okay. And you can absolutely increase your profit margins with things like this because they're not just buying the food this time. They're buying an additional private, limited, exclusive, whatever adjective you want to throw on it, experience. So they're going to be willing to pay for that in most cases, especially if you make it really, really good. For example, a special wine pairing dinner where your local wine expert or your in-house wine expert explains why the specific wines chosen for this specific dinner that were prepared by your chef go perfectly together. And they get to learn about the wineries, they get to learn about the grapes. It's just a great little education piece as well. Partner with another local business so that you can advertise to their customers as well. I love fusion marketing ideas like this. I hate that buzzword, but it's true. Like maybe a florist comes in and teaches your crowd the finer points in creating a bouquet. All the while, they're eating and drinking cocktails that go perfectly with floral arrangements. Now you can probably tell by the B-roll that I'm using that these ideas have already been done, and that's okay. You can put them into your own restaurant, you can come up with your own. You can do anything. There's no limits here. If you're a caterer or a food truck, maybe you can create your own event at a local venue that you can rent and advertise out to, to a limited amount of people. The bottom line here is just to show your guests that you offer so much more than just the plate of food that they're eating because the truth is you actually do and they're not and when they see these things happening say they missed it they're not going to want to miss out on the next one because they look so fun and so engaging and so entertaining and you're going to create a whole new line of customers with these type of events as well and last about this one don't forget to grab their contact information for future marketing don't miss out on that easy and free opportunity number four and maybe my favorite and possibly the easiest one to accomplish here a special message from the chef or the owner. The reason I like this the most is because it's that extra personal touch that I don't think, I really don't think many people are doing at all. I've never had it. I've never experienced it. And when I was talking to another couple, a couple chef buddies of mine, they're like, that's a really fun idea and super easy to accomplish. Now what you do, this involves another QR code. Oh God, another QR code. No, hear me out. You make another dynamic QR code. You place it on the check at the end. Now, when the server drops the check off at the table at the end of the night, you say, if you guys want, you can scan the QR code on this check and get a personal message from our chef or owner, however you guys want to do that. And it's really just the chef or the owner thanking them for their visit. That's all there is to it. It's so simple. It can be short and sweet. It can be long and thought out. It doesn't matter to me, whatever you want to do. And if you want to take this a step further and you have the type of system that can record how many, time a, how many times a certain guest has made reservations at your restaurant, say you know for a fact that it's their third time visiting, maybe you have another message message for those people. And this all has to do with a little bit more of technology side of things, so you have to have a POS that can do this for you, but you could have it, you could, your server could place in, this is their third visit, so they automatically get the QR code that has the third message. Thanks for your visiting us for a third time. And if they're visiting for a 50th time, you better damn well say, thanks for visiting us. And maybe you put in their names here in a personal message if they're visiting you that much. And let's take this another step further, and this is much easier to do than even that last one. Say you have a party of 10 or 15, and they're celebrating grandma's 100th birthday and they rented out
out like a special part of your restaurant if you have one, or if not, just a bunch of tables. And at the end of the night, you provide them with a with the check, and it says, "Hey, here's this really special message that our chef prepared for you and Grandma." Scan this QR code, and you can see the message. And then it pops up, and it's just a video of the chef or the owner saying, "Happy birthday, Grandma. We appreciate we appreciate you. What an amazing feat. 100 years old. Blah blah blah. Whatever you want to say here. But that's an incredible personal touch that you won't get anywhere. I would say 99.9% .9 of the restaurants you go to will not provide that kind of experience. And if you provide that experience, you are just leveling yourself up to be way above the competition. As you can see, these are super low cost, if not free ideas to enhance your customers or guest experience, which is much more likely to keep them coming back more often. Now, if you've tried any of these ideas, hit me up in the comments. Let me know if they've worked, how you did it, all that sorts of stuff. I want to know because these are pretty great ideas for anybody to apply. Now, if you're just getting into creating your own restaurant or if you're a restaurant and you're starting a new restaurant, click the video right here to see how you can set up your kitchen for success from start to finish. As always, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.